Uh, no. Just, uh, Yasuo, Katarina, Pike. Game codes there. Discord. I can't because they're filled in the
the Rams, the team that made it into the playoffs, lost in the first round. So they were looking a fun game. I will say that, unfortunately, we lost Taro, um, our jungler. Not permanently. He just couldn't make it today for reasons. Um, so our assistant coach, Okami, is filling in for him, and Maricopa was okay with it. Clear it up first. So this game will naturally be quarantined in the play versus it. But it's a scrim, and it's for fun and for some good practice. These two teams have met in the past at the beginning of the season. Willow Canyon did lose to this team, um, but we were playing our second and third stringers. How this goes, we first stringers in there, especially our combo of Lone Wolfie and Frozen Cat 3030, who are leaving our program in two weeks and they graduate. It'll be sad to see them go. They were here from the very beginning. They're our founding members. So it will be unfortunate. Love them. Oh, we hope the best for them. Get through this picks and bands. So I'll just turn up the music and we'll talk about this uh, pick some bands here after Joy Starglide. Live a lie by rival Exod and Sorry, no ASMR to coach's blood sugar. All right, let's talk about these picks and bans here. Um, in the last game, especially in the second last game, their Katarina was murder on wheel. She was going against a brand new player, a player I think he... Understandable. But their mid laner, uh, Miku, it, pretty good. So we went ahead and power banned him out. We also saw that Eight Eyes, who was the recent change on the likes to play Pike and also Nico. We're lucky enough to be able to get the Nico. So we'll see how the Seraphine is. And then Lucian, like, because at this point they only had their bot lane left, so we went ahead and banned that. Um, for Willow, or for Maricopa, it looks like they did their research because Okami has been playing as well as some Nidalee. I am kind of surprised they didn't ban his Ivern. Ivern is one. They also banned, it looks like, the bot lane, Ezreal, Kraken, the Raka. So let's look at these uh, matchups. And we have um, Alawi against Fiora in the top lane. Their top laner has a lot more experience. Chill has been working on it. Got a lot better so since the fall. Amazing, amazing, amazing increase. Player to watch, she is a freshman. Us. But I think Fiora is going to kind of have the advantage here 
Lessa Lowey can kind of pin, pin her down like between walls. I wouldn't play aggressive. See what happens. We have a Rek'Sai versus a Morgana. Morgana recently got buffed against the jungle. She was meant to be a jungler, like a jungle mage, and shifted to mid or support. But with the recent buffs to character, Morgana jungle is a thing again. But you have Rek'Sai, the kind of big tank that Willow and actually Maricopa don't have. Neither team really has Rek'Sai role. I'm going to give this to Okami, but we'll see because I'm Dina, Dina Strong, um Dina is a pretty good player, and we'll see how this older older guy experience here goes up against Rana. In the mid lane, we have an Aurelia versus Kiko. So Kiku Miku is a pretty good mid laner, and Micah is a very good laner. And he loves his Aurelia, very very strong. It was some question whether he should pick up a Lux or Aurelia. Yeah, the Echo went first, so. Eh. This will be an inter interesting match. I have not seen any stuff on Kiku Miku's Echo. Can't really tell you how that's going to go. In the bot lane, we have a Samira or Samira Seraphine versus a Lux Jin. So this is a lot of guns, but Samira can get out of that. Seraphine brings skills that Lux doesn't have, but Lux doesn't have shield. Frozen Cat does like to play Lux. Probably out of all the mages in the bot lane, aggressive mages. For support, it would go more gone. Very, very competent here. Lone Wolfy does play a mean gin, especially in the mid to So it'll be interesting to see if <clears throat> turn four can get ahead of Lone Wolfy here. How that goes. So we got about 20 seconds. I will pop the music back on. This is part of our summer scrim series, and a bunch of those. We also will have Coach on an ARAM continuing over the summer. The Zemo dance. Okay, so let's check this out. Oh, he bought the DW skin. I was wondering if he was going to do that. I don't like this skin at all. Sorry, um, sorry, Lone Wolfy. I thought about getting it, but I Cosmic Jin. So if we're looking at masteries, we have uh, M4, 18,000 points. However, Lowey with no mastery, but still does like to. It's pretty mean allowed. Morgana versus Rek'Sai and M4 versus. That'll be kind of interesting. Um, Echo with no mastery, level 59, against M7, 156,000 points. So I'm actually kind of, I don't know about this. I don't know about this match. But in the bot lane, bot lane is level 293 for Samira versus 8. 258 Lux Seraphine with us. So based purely off of this imagery, looks like Willow's got this in the bag, but he thought Willow had it in the bag during regular season. So how'd this go? Who's gonna be our carry? Is it gonna be coach? Is assistant coach um Okami gonna be able to carry this? Or is it gonna be our bot lane or mid laner? Or can chill surprise everybody, control top, um, dominate. Because one of the things chill does very well is that mid to late game jump in, team fights, drags. See how this goes. Guarantee they're going to get this. I'm just back on it, Spotify, boom, and okay. I'm 
All right, so we have Maricopa starting on top, red side. They will next game and Willow Canyon bottom battle is. So let's see what teams do if they're going with a buy point or uh, fade. Um, I think both teams are playing kind of conservative. So while this is starting, let's talk about what happened yesterday here at Willow Canyon. Um, our baseball team got kind of mounty, and our top-ranked Rocket League team, which recently lost to Valley Christian playoffs, baseball team said they could beat them. So we had a baseball versus Rocket League yesterday. That is up on our page on Twitch, but on YouTube, which is actually. So I wanted to teach, but all our games are are put on, and it was a fun game, and actually brought in to mind some things out here, uh, like to do with esports. Maybe start to have some intramural turn inter tournaments here on our campus with Smash Brothers, a title that we're starting here in the fall. Uh, maybe bring some Mario Kart on. Tommy getting a good leash. Gets the... Kind of important with the... Look at this mid lane. The mid lane was where Willow not do so. Like the mid laner. Bill is doing a good job managing that, but uh, really is getting. Yora. Spotlight. Eight eyes definitely got uh, put out. Lux, Frozen Cat landing her, her gun. Oops. Hi, Bruce. Let's go. Thanks for coming and watching our Summer Scrim series. I know there's some state playoff games, but so did not quite make it. And first blood goes to Echo Kiku Miku in the bot in the mid lane, getting Micah under tower with massive wave that not been cleared. Double the CS. How he has caught up on CS there. Jin is ahead. Definitely pushing him. Rana comes up and tries for. By managing to get the. Shuttle. He went back. That echo went back, and he definitely <laughs> was blasting. Chill definitely holding his own up here in the top lane. I don't know what he's doing there. 
definitely out of position, and I think this is going to be a quick and easy kill for Chill. Oh, but Chill can't close the deal, but that is a huge wave that he's up under tower. in there. What a trend. Jill's doing a great job there. I'm in charge of this tower. Rek'Sai is ahead of Morgana. Uh, mid lane though, that X definitely ahead. I think Aurelius skip better. Micah can control, control the CS and he'll be okay. Micah pink. Back and got her vent. That might have been something for Micah to do with 1200 gold, go back and vent. You need to get out of that with a good flash. Seeing the Morgana come down. Bad gank attack. It did put pressure. Is allowing wave to be in power. Oof. Mecha got caught out there. That is now 0 and 2 for Mike. Mid lane. Miku. Mid laner. Heck. Okami coming out. Good gank on the Echo. Can the Echo escape? No, and Okami gets a kind of reverse gank man out. Iku Miku and his Echo. Using Rex size, especially that shark skin. No, he got he got beat up a little bit. But he was doing great. Until he got ganked by the uh Rex Absolutely in Oh no, since Tron's their jungler. I apologize. I got that backwards. Interesting choice there, Bruce. What do you think uh, about that Morgana choice? For your guy. A Morgana jungle. I right, go ahead and getting the Mountain Drake. Like Cloud Drake next, so we're gonna see either an ocean or infernal soul. Okay. Relia did get this venture, except Relia, Relia with a lot of lifesteal. Or might be in chill out here. Kamigami. I'm gonna say Kamigami. Kami? Ooh, this Echo, though. This Echo is absolutely destroying Ika in the mid lane. Good vision there, avoiding that Morgana gank. That's true, Morgana brings a lot of... But is she going to be behind? She has a bad click. Oh, 
Especially since Jin is getting ahead of this. Harold is up. Side has vision on. By getting vision and rip. Bill is coming down. Stunned under tower again. Gumi. I hope I'm saying that right. Willow picks up first drag and the Herald, but is losing second eight. Mid lane. Rooted. That was a good, that was a good play there by the Morgana. Stopping that gank. Willow is going to lose the plate top lane. So the Fiora up by one. Willow has no vision. Ron attempting to come up with a gank here. Oh, Kikumiku getting put out there by Okami and Rek'Sai. Might help get ahead here. Wave, maybe. Power, but Echo was far ahead. Like mid plate to Willow. Bill got caught out there. Oh, oh. what's going on? Alt just a little too. So, as of right now, Willow's really leading in objective control, but Maricopa is up and up and mid control of the player kills. So which one? One with a mythic is Prowler Claw. Hope the jungler also. Or. Exide coming in looking for a bot lane game. Willow's bot lane was pulling back. Do you have a cloud drain? Seconds. Oh, I apologize. I've been out since really early. I think in the bot lane this is pretty even, even though it is really bad, but neither side is really Ooh, Echo coming up and I looks like uh Aracopa has identified Chill is kind of the one to Umiku does not need any more kills if some vision Willow having vision and Opus jump. Third plate top lane. Mid lane Echo is gonna. Almost got a tower. How we TP in? A cloud Drake. Both sides have vision in. Blue team some Riff Hair on the bot lane. Oh, 
And a mutual kill there in the mid lane. Ooh, and Morgana, let's go back and look at that because that was a steal. Okay, we're gonna go back and look at this. Rek'Sai working on the uh, Cloud Drake. Morgana comes in. And with the smite, steals steals the Cloud Drake, but we have an, an, an Infernal Soul that's gonna be coming. Bot lane, got nah. some uh, tower. But it looks like Willow... Oh, Willow got first tower. Willow's just a little behind with kills, so... Happens here. Go ahead and take a look at the item. Both of them are building Gordrink. Something to do. Micah still doesn't have... Gale Force. Get set and get set up there against... Um, so, four player. Seraphine still doesn't have four items. So kind of telling, and you can see that in the vision. The vision diff So another mutual kill, but this time of the top lane, but that is not a good trade. Hello. Up comes Frozen Cat. Helping Mike out. Have a Herald up with Three minutes left. Ron is thinking. Frozen cat kind of left the phone for the gin head. Four to one. So Do a counter steal. Rana did the. And the Jin alt thing in. Good use of the stopwatch to save the Morgana saves herself, but. So. Wow, that was like murder ball, but I think that, yeah, they still got, got the Herald. In coming in. R was uh, amazing. One Woofy on a rampage there. Four kills he got out of that fight. That that is not something you want to give Jin. You didn't want to let him get that far ahead. One thousand gold. He's going to probably go back after the tower, which probably takes fast. I don't know. Up. Hey, who picked up the Herald in that second fight? They pick it up or us? Yeah. You grabbed it. Okay. So it looks like Willow picked it up. I Oh, they second fight. They got it. Okay. So Maricopa got it in the second fight. Yeah, I just wasn't sure because like sometimes you can get the kill but then pick up the item. And... So let's see where Maricopa is going to place that uh Herald down because that's going to going to change a lot of things and a lot of dynamics. Drop it here mid gonna cause Willow to have to collapse. You have Colonel Drake up in 22 seconds. That's a big deal. How are we trying to get away? You guys went through. 
But Fiora is up. Echo took down Lobo. Got that shutdown gold. Woo! At. Oh, Rek'Sai. Bad use of. Coming down, there's gonna be a big fight for the Colonel Drake. Micah pushing him up. Ooh, good alt by the Lux. Micah getting getting her alt in there, slowing everybody down. It's gonna be a free Infernal Drake for Willow. Give them more damage. But Micah's doing a really good job. Uh, compare this to the match back in February. Pretty big difference. Butchered. But in this one, he's holding his own. He had but definitely holding his own, not giving that Fjord much of a Lux just murdering it. Try to make it her senior game. Your night for Lux, uh, Jin. So far. Build bow on uh L4. Woofy just stuck it up the gold. Baron that is up. Morg drop drops the herald in the bot lane. Probably pick up this tower for sure. Willow ha is Really there, Lux and Rexi are trying to collect. Probably stop that. Yep. The so Willow loses a tower in the bot lane, but that's a pretty good trade. Echo coming down. Rexi Lux. Get away here. Tommy takes down the Morgana. I think the Echo is going... Ooh, oh. Echo manages to get away, I think. Ooh. We are. Oh, Kami. Kami making a huge difference. You can see Kami as the assistant coach in, in his early 20s. He has lots of experience. And you can... That Echo. Good job on that Echo. Board at this point. Seraphine with the charm. Get the root. Oh, so that is a mid tower going down here. That tankiness really helping out. It's for another Infernal Drake, which is dragons for Willow or for Maricopa. They can have it. Still have a Baron up, but neither side has any vision on the. Woofy coming up. Still don't like that skin. I will stick by that statement for. I'm not buying that just again. Put on this vision. Uh, not quite sure what either team's doing here. Get a team. How we? Good root by the Lux. Yora out of position. Taking down the Lux. 
Pretty smart. Ward. Ooh, Kami. Kami getting out 4v1. Four, four Kami's probably going to go down there. And just to get away with this. Wow. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Morgana still does not yet have a mythic. See, this is why I don't like the Morgana choice in a jungle. It brings some team utility later. But if you're not, if you can get get behind. Interesting, interesting choice. I know that uh, Riot is trying to make jungle more attractive. Especially with different... Oh, shuts down. Not quite sure. Okay. Tommy. Tommy got one of those kills. Okay, Infernal Drake. This is a free Infernal Drake for Willow. With the four. That's going to be three dragons to one. Willow definitely could protect it. Also having flipped the kills. You are clearing some jungle, trying to get some gold, I think. Try to hyper carry. Echo. This is really a Echo. Echo Fiora versus Excite. Yeah, this good. Ugh. So the next dragon will be an Infernal Soul for Willow or uh, Maricopa can stop. But Maricopa already kind of back one foot now, getting a dominate in its own jungle mid lane because Echo is out there roaming, picking up CS, grabbing gold, you know, doing things that should should and need to happen. The Echo. Teams are trying to figure out. The Oracle ends to clear. Black Shield helping out the Fiora there from the root. Morgana got rooted. Ooh, good use of the. Good use of her uh, stopwatch, but not quite enough. In just missing out and taking out that echo. Uh, I think this is going to be a tower for Willow. Ooh, echo, good stun. Also using the stopwatch. Seraphine taking down the Rek'Sai, but still taking down Fiora. Kind of balancing out, getting caught up. Miku, amazing things. Much more in control of this mid lane than the Aurelia is. Surprising because Micah plays a pretty. Yeah. Orc almost had the alt out, but it did get the Samira a kill. First kill of the day. This comes over. Definitely a bot lane difference here.
think he's setting up for a river fight, getting Echo caught out. Another good use of this. Stopwatch. Maricopa is not staying together and is getting caught out periodically. Tommy. Fiora coming in. Oof. A lot of damage. Fiora packet. Ooh, Gore Drinker and Hydra. Oof. And Essence. That's ugly. You have an Infernal Drake up now. Will be soul for Willow if Willow manages to get this. It doesn't get stolen. Fiora and Samira seem to be focusing on this mid lane. They don't think they had any idea. That is an Infernal Soul to Willow. See how this goes. can't make push I'm but push is in order here there's a coolie uh cool skin there Howie Cora though we going Yeah, I guess that's it. The mobility! Huh. Excuse me. Kumiku's having on this Echo. Poor cannon. Okay, it looks like... Might be me. Nasty, 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 and it looks like Willow won that fight. Losing the Lux. 3 1 Lux. 4 1 Lux. Echo get away. Jin went down as well. getting away. Good use of his control on time, even if it was with an item. So the mid tower goes down. Billow ahead in towers? Billow ahead in towers by one. Make a clearing out some chickens. Gold. Maricopa uh, telegraphed that. We gotta get back down. Get another. But he loses. You have an elder uh, Drake up in two minutes. Could help Maricopa quite a bit, or just kind of push over the edge.
keeping them pushed out. I was doing a good job with this. Feel the deal. This we're 36 minutes into the game. It's like Willow can't quite finish it up. Guys, gonna mute this for a second. This is my wife. Apologize. Um, if just wanted to know what I wanted for dinner because she's leaving work and wanted to know if she could pick some up for me, but I don't think we'll be done till soon. So we'll see what happens here. So Willow taking the first of the base towers. Looks like they might be making. Nope. Everybody just going back. Looking at these stats here, though, definitely jungle diff. Um, top lane is back to even. And mid lane, definitely um, Echo taking that mid lane. Bot lane, absolutely controlled by Willow. So Willow's got a little more control here. I don't see how Maricopa can come back from this, but I have seen, I have seen different. I mean, I was in one game that literally went to the 59th minute. We had no towers, half our nexus. We came back and won it, so... You know, stuff happens. So Elder, Elder goes to Willow. That is not a good thing for Maricopa. That Elder buff is really ugly. Kind of behind. At this point they are. Go. So, like Willow is going to go for this Baron buff. Willow takes down the Baron, so they have Infernal, Elder, and Baron buff. That's ugly. I think there's an over-reliance of Maricopa here on its the stopwatch. They're using a lot of that stopwatch with maybe be working on other things. Willow did lose the Rek'Sai here and the Alawi, but Maricopa only has Maricopa only had the Echo up. Lone Woofy is definitely dominating here with this ten, bringing a lot to the table. Thirteen kills, thirteen two and twelve. Willow might just be going to going to finish here. Forty minutes, forty minute mark. Oof. Just burn through it, guys. Burn through it. So, GG. Willow wins this. We will be back here. Let's look at the stats, actually. Um, we'll be back soon for um, our game two. That's here. I always like to go to grass because it's quick and it's easy. When we look at this damage, I mean the Echo, 36,000, top damage dealer. But you look at the Samira versus the Jin. That's, that's really telling. Morgana brought a lot to the table, a lot more than... Um, so we're going to prep for game two and we'll be right back.
Hey guys, we're back um, for game two. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Because it looks like already some differences. They're mixing up who's in what position. So we'll just pop the music back on. That's actually pretty fire. Um, and we'll talk about these picks and bands here in a couple oh, minutes.
Okay, guys, we are back. We're going to talk about these picks and bans. Uh, Maricopa is now on this side, and let's check it out. We have definitely the Rek'Sai got banned, as did the Lux. Those were uh, two monster, monster uh, players for Willow in the last one. Uh, I'm not sure where the Pike, Thresh, or Sin. I haven't seen any of our players really play those. Um, and over here, Yasua, Gwen, Nico. Yasua makes sense. He's one of their stronger players. Surprised there was no cat. Nico, I think they were banning that, so I wouldn't say my Nico, Nico, me. <laughs> that makes Coach Warnus so mad when I say that. Um, I think there might be murder here if I say that again. Um, Seraphine and Trindamir. Trindamir was a monster the last time these two teams played in the, in the top lane. <laughs> Come on, you have to admit, it's pretty funny. You guys have no sense. Anyways, talking about our picks and bands in the top lane, we have Eight Eyes, who was their port in the last game. Moving up to play top. And that is a Nasus Renekton battle. That is a battle of the brothers. In fact, I just read their lore um, the other day because I was bored. And that was, that's kind of interesting. I never realized how good of a guy Nasus was. In the jungle, we have Kane. Uh, Sinistron plays a uh, pretty good Kane. Addition, plays a lot of Kane in the season against Diana in the jungle. Diana also recently buff. Kiku Miku went down to bot lane, which makes sense going up against the Tana. But we do have this Talon by Kamigami. Uh, Micah, who got the Aurelia again, one of his strong camps but not so strong against the echo in the last game on there and this bot lane it looks like they made some changes here to put strong against strong but they made a mistake by letting frozen cat get her morgana of her strongest champs so we got tristana's mobility against Jin's monstrous energy Jin, i think has recently buffs anyways we got about a minute 20 for game two let's see if maricopa can come back and win this one with the change
Oh, you got to turn on the mic before you start talking. Anyways, I'm trying to remember who was who. It's been a long day for me. I think Turn was their 80. Umuki was their mid. Kamigami. Kamigami was their ADC. This was their top laner. Now, support player. Willow's all in the same position. So let's see how this uh, goes. Galactic. Or Pharonassus. Get our objective timers up. We'll put everything in. Um, Willow definitely coming in at red side this Yeah. Maricopa playing as blue. Actually, what? Got a little thirty seconds until I was forward to destroy America Copa High School. A red. Anyways, I like to do that so everybody knows what is going on. Looks like both teams are keeping kind of uh, conservative here. Talking a lot of trash. And going for a red clear instead of chickens. Choice. Um what's happening there. It's going to be probably a very quick clear. It's always definitely Diana. Top lane. Eight eyes push power. But about equal. Uh, this is a very important CS battle, especially for Kill, because he really needs to get ahead with his masses. I think I've ever seen with that. Frozen Cat and Lone Wolfie are going to focus a lot on. Go. Three months. Ellen. Yeah. I think both teams have kind of a set. Frozen Cat with the flash. Doesn't get away, and first blood goes to the Jin, uh, taking down the Morgana. Doing a great job. Good. Lately, hadn't seen. Um, Chill does play a lot of Renekton's. Quite aware of what Renekton can and can't do. And a pingy. Ooh, Renekton gets away with a flash. But Diana's back with a flash. Chill getting that getting that kill shot, going through the jungle to try to get away. Okami. Okami, I don't think he's gonna get away, but can Chill get up there and try to save? So one for one gank difference. Still is going to be able to survive here, so I think Sin Sinistron is going to get ahead here. Oh, nope. Decided to back off. Not make. The one for one trade in the top lane.
Oh, and we missed Aurelia taking out town. Backed and got her uh, Vampiric Scepter. Bot lane. <laughs> Things are the way they are. Eight Eyes is going to go for. Oh, not going to quite get that uh, plate. Be hoping the wave gets it. Head and CS. In. In a CS. Tommy getting taken out by uh, Ken. And the Talon. That's going to give the Cloud Drake to. Cloud Drake to Opa. You know, free Drake for them. So we will not see a Cloud Soul in this game. We did not see a Cloud Soul in the next game. Let's see what we're going to get. It is a Mountain Drake, so we're going to see either an Ocean Soul or an Infernal Soul. Gone to Under Tower, but... I can get ahead here. Bowling the Nasus. Maricopa playing much more aggressive this round. I think having the measure of Willow. Miku with two kills. Micah coming down and getting the gank. Oh, a root on the cane. Micah, I think, getting fed in this one. 3 and 0. 3 and 0 for uh, Micah. Definitely. Didn't do so well against Kiku, but putting Kiku behind here. Tristana just needs to get caught up on CS. Clear Talon. Clearing waves. Talon's pretty far behind. A backing. This. Thinking this time, I think that bot lane was changed up. I think kind of going to uh, hello. Your tower though, Renekton goes down due to tower, but gives his money to chill. Giving Chill this kind of free guess under tower, which is smile. Three of them in this care of it. Tommy getting out rooted. Definitely playing much better together. Threesome. Blue control. Jungle, this bottom side. Our cope with what to do with Relia getting out. Like they are making a play on Harold here. Got a minute 40, 45 drag, but definitely can. Solo can do. It might steal, but all five of them there, that would be done. 
Maricopa decided to make this team fight from the beginning. About lane. All pinging, let's go mid, let's go mid. I'm not getting a chance up, but insane. Like, what are normal tactics? Whatever, we don't need to do that. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, had to leave, but um, right back. What the heck happened here? Both teams are tied up on gold. Like Willow grabbed a drag. I don't know what that strategy was as I was leaving. It was Maricopa just decided to do team fight early rather effective a little bit what kind of got back go for an earth aid mass is teleporting in still lost plate Two plates connecting Mass is up three kills. The Renekton looks better in lane, but look at the stats. Fine. Jin is definitely pushing the. Cane here. Oh, Aurelia comes in on the cane behind. Red team's turret is being destroyed. Blue team, uh, Maricopa taking down first turret. So first blood, first turret goes to Maricopa. Lone Wolfie taking down Jin. Renekton, or Renekton. Rackin going, uh. Rackin managing to get away. Kane coming in. Probably could have pushed hard on Lone Wolfie. Got him there. Jin's still pretty far ahead. The, uh. Asses having their. Mass is having their mythic here. Here we go. Morgana getting caught out. Did she do it? Oh, Tristana jumps in. The Kane ult, though. Kumiku gets the... gets, uh... Tristana. Morgana get away. Oh, the root! In the mid-flash! Oh, man. And Micah showing what his Aurelia can do. Miku absolutely monster monster balling it. 
in. They're gonna take this tower. No, nope. Okami come. Hey. Okay. Game is really close. The first game was also very close. Um, looked like Maricopa had the lead for a while, but Willow managed to pull it back and then managed to run the board. Uh, this game is a lot closer just from the get go. I don't know what's thinking. That. Oh, oh! Miku Miku getting rooted. Tommy coming in. Double kill there. Let Okami get ahead of you. Got a backing. Alan Blue Cane coming up. Another Cane Alt on Morgana. Oh, Okami takes down the Talon, but Cane takes down Okami. Can take out the Cane. And shut down in the middle of the rock. Great job, Lone Woofy there. Asses. Asses. Yeah, I see it. That's really kind of a... Except for those kills, the roaming chill. Miku moving up top. Have an ocean break up, so ocean soul and will. Looks like Maricopa, the entire team, top lane. Point put. Great. Okay. We do have a drag up, and I. So they're going to go for another uh, Herald. Doing the team thing again. All of them are working together. Willow takes its second dragon. It's Ocean. We're going to... Definitely an Ocean Soul here. That missing health. Anna, missing health is going to be useful. But I think that Maricopa is going for a mid-push. They have this... Uh, Have this herald, they're all together. Quick easy kill on the Morgana by the cane. Drop the herald here. Nice. Herald will get it to this. Up two thirds for sure. But gonna go down, but this is now a big team fight in the mid. Ami rooted. Miku's doing pretty well with this gen. Getting all those roots. Both heralds going to Maricopa. Got two minutes till Baron spawns. So all staying together, hiding here. This is an interesting strategy. Kind of murder balling it together. Tristana by herself, thinking she's got the gin out there. Um, just getting killed by the entire team, focusing fire on her. Willow's got to watch out for that. That's the third time that has happened to Willow. Interesting. When Willow gets together, Maricopa back. Kami coming in and taking down the Jin who was too busy sniping to probably see it happen. Diana taking down 
A full ace there. Willow just gonna come and roll down this mid lane. I think so. Gonna take at least one tower. Might be able to take quickly down. Towers there. This fight did not work. If once Willow gets together, that team fight is a. We're looking at our items. We're four drinker. Find Sunder. Prowler's Claw. Prowler, Prowler's Claw. Claw. Wow, I cannot talk today. You would think I was not highly educated. Night Harvester on Diana. Trinity Force. Um, Gale Force on both ADC. Landry's Anguish. Her pocket of the Iron Soul. Sorry. We're looking to make a play. Or, excuse me, is Maricopa. That's an interesting play here. Quite what Maricopa's. This works, though. This this could turn the tables here. Last one. Baron rapidly healing, so there's not going to be a steal here. Unless one team waters the other. Frozen Cat going down. Oh, okay, Willow. Willow is going to pick up this Baron. That's a free Baron. Another ace in the river. That's some good coordination there with Willow. Um, definitely top diff this time. Willow in the top in the mid. But Kiku Miku making a huge difference. Hot lane. Getting rid of that advantage. Willow going ahead and clear. Willow's gonna try to make a, mid, a top top push. That buff. Put out. Maricopa, I'll split off. Pain coming. An ocean, ocean drift. Willow's gonna make this. We'll give them three, dra three dragons and a baron. Only taking one tower with that baron. That puts them in line for an ocean. All three gems. Is Willow really taking advantage? What are they making their push here? So Willow definitely winning these team fights. Uh, I think. I think Willow just wasn't even engaging here. Baron buff still up. Maybe make a play on this tower. Alan coming in. Good use of the stopwatch. Oh, Morgana goes down to the gin. Could take it. Gain. Get another Baron buff with the cannon. That... Donna just clearing lane. Taking tower. Super fast. Bamble gunners. So, Willow backing, I think. Thorn mail on that. Ramble vest. Neck and definitely back there. Tristana has. Lone Woofy has caught up and 
Jin, but Jin has kills, so... Jungle buffs. Trying to get some. So, one thing I, I think I'd like to talk about with this game, definitely the objective. Objective control was definitely there for what? First game and really telling. Maricopa did try an interesting strategy, which came before. That early team fight seems looks like I think he's looking at timers here. It's like it's a lot of waste. Tommy coming in. Oh, and Micah pulling him in with her alt. His alt. Ellie is the she, Mike is the dude. Um. Go. Been trying to take care of things, but I don't think Iku Miku can really this. Ooh, that is not a good shutdown to give the Rectin. That is a turret and So I guess I guess that trade was that trade did work. We have a drag up in forty seconds. Alan by himself. Now we have a drag up in 20 seconds. And Chill has not died this. Blue pinging. They're going to make a play for. Create a salt for a bear. Probably a smart decision. Really can't win that. Willow has no vision. No vision on the Baron. Does have an ocean. Incredible amount of health in but coming back each time. There we go. Back. Bramble Gunners. Elia fight four to one. Nope. That's another turret down. And a split push in here. Probably gonna take the tower by her. Busy it. And rack in there. Is a Baron for Willow. Blue team is busy in his base. Willow is together. So, can one of you guys stay in the game? Never mind. Because if you guys end and somebody does, if you guys all leave, then it shuts the game down. Yeah, so if you, one of you guys can stay in, like, this S page forward. No, I just found that out last week. I always wondered, like, 
why all of a sudden like you're beating on the nexus and all of a sudden the game freezes it's because the game doesn't exist anymore okay we had learned something new. not math looks like the game's over Uh, we can do it a little earlier. We could probably do it at three. I, I still need to get a hold of that para. Otherwise, we won't have five. Oh, Pico's on board. The Lent Sun's gonna come too. Is that six? Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Worst case, I won't play. I'll just stream. Or Hello Pico, or whatever. Yeah, but if I stream and play, then you only get my point of view. Yeah, but it would just be my point of view. Spectator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So, victory to Willow. Good job. Um, Chief to Maricopa. Let's take a look at the stats here. Um, once again, Kiku Miku dominating the damage charts. What a monster there. Okami again. And... So not quite as much damage, but that was a classic, like, hey, let's watch um, how to control objectives and how to control the board. Maricopa was definitely trying to do that early with some early team fights. Didn't quite work out with them. So guys, thanks for watching. Hey, um, tomorrow we'll have some more coach on an ARAM. Uh, we'll be doing both Battletech and an ARAM game. The ARAM game will be the slightly later game uh, on Thursday, we have our semifinals for Special Olympics Rocket League. Next week, we have both Madden playoffs. And if we make it through the semifinals for Unified, then we'll have that Special Olympics National Championship, which are number one. Wild War. So guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you all. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.